Hello everyone, this is Sears Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Zhengjiang campaign. We pick things up for episode 3 from turn 17 in the autumn season of 197. So, as we hop back in, uh, our little bandit kingdom is growing. Uh, we traded for it. Uh, very expensive, but I think it's worth it. Nobei has to deal with Lü Bu, who I think he can handle. Because you have to imagine that they are recruiting new armies right now, and Nobei has two full stacks that I know of that's going to go in and sweep through them and that might give us um, some characters when they are you know homeless and similar to Liu Chong who got wiped uh, if they get wiped maybe we'll pick up a few interesting ones now uh, for our court here I realize a few things one crossbows are available to bandits on sentinel on uh, not on the sentinels and the uh, commanders uh, champions which we couldn't see they're available for all strategists so we don't need to hold on to this. This is costing us only 61 a turn. Uh, we got the discount from the reform, which is nice, but it's still 61 that I don't want to pay. So we're going to disband this unit. Uh, we have our special crossbow and our cavalry and our special unit. So Dotron is just hosting special units for us. Uh, meanwhile, we are going to take full advantage of your economy grows for the next two turns. So we're going to be rushing this down getting the conversion through, rushing the conversion, which will double the cost, which doesn't seem worth it because then we can't actually build anything. So we have to rush this next turn and then put in the order for the level three building. And then we pretty much maximize our uh, cost savings in essence. Uh, we'll compare which building's more expensive. This one's 2,550. We'll kind of compare to what the cost will be for the level three iron mine and make our call then. Meanwhile, we are trying to satisfy our contract uh, with Kongrong. It's going to drop all the way down to zero if we don't do anything. His armies are not showing up, so we might be making a raid across the river. We are going to add one more house rule. Uh, someone made this suggestion in the comment below that since we're playing as bandit, we don't really care about land. Uh, that might make this quite a long campaign, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to having Zhengjiang survive the whole campaign because she's rather young and I'm also looking forward for her husband to die off so we can marry again because remember this is a love story for legitimacy and perhaps she would love Ruojun more or perhaps some other general will pick up so I'm not worried about making the campaign a long one as long as things stay interesting uh, so about the house rule if we don't have an underling available then we don't take cities the capitals we can take counties Counties are the main focus point of bandits anyways, we have special buildings for them. But we won't be taking cities unless we can put an underling. So if we fight a city, we will just loot and retreat, you know, loot and withdraw and get the money. And that's all we will do. And I think that's fine. That's a pretty interesting uh, change to the strategy. So we're not at war with Yuantan, but we Quite want fun. to be. Because uh, they're the vassal who borders the, you know, coast and we want to fight something that belongs to Yuan Shao so we might as well start with him and Kongrong will definitely I mean so many factions will like this let's see yep everyone that's our neighbor would love this idea so let's do that and uh, we're gonna sell out we're gonna go where Kongrong is there is a chance that Yuan Shao is actually marching towards us as we speak and uh, we are going to bump into him or he will just attack us, like he will land here and attack us. That would be bad. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, but this is our daring adventure to the north, a raid, because we can't take Pingyuan. And we know that Yuan Tan doesn't hold this, right? This is Tian Kai's land, so this is um, Gong Sun Zan's vassal. Uh, we have to go this way into Ye, uh, which is a big city. Now, enough said, let's pick a reform. So, we've been going down here, we got the recruitment cost discount, upkeep discount for range unit, which is lovely. One additional army is also lovely. Range block chance, not so important. Recruitment costs, hmm. shot cavalry, also not. Mine discount. It's gonna be a little late, because uh, our mine's gonna be ready next turn. Although we could kind of wait on it. 10% income from banditry, not bad. What does it link to? This reform links to nothing? All the other one linked from somewhere else? Is it dead end? 
Okay. Less inclined to go for it. Increase ammo. Hmm. Not attractive enough. We don't need more assignment. We need more characters. We could go for population growth. More armies down the line. Corruption reduction is a bit early. Melee cav discount. That would save money on Chen Royal Guard. Which is our most expensive unit. And then population. That's not attractive. Ooh, replenishment. Okay, so we have a route. We go Fuping Clan into League of the Great Peace because uh, this will be kind of the home territory of, well, getting close to the home territory of the Zhang Brothers, healers of Tijou. And then we get a nice unit here as well. Horseback Huntsman, Yellow Turban's Archer, uh, Horseback Archer. All right, we're going to go for the replenishment. I think that's probably the best thing I see that's near us. It's going to make sure of that real quick. Now this adds value to getting underlings for us as well, because if we want more towns, we got to get underlings. That's part of the rule. Okay, I think we'll settle for this route first. Uh, obviously, we can also go up this way, but I don't need that right now. We're going to go get this, get the cheaper melee cav. All right, building's all done. Movement's all done. We don't have money for turncoats, and there are no turncoats. Let's see. Diplomacy. We have a free trade route. Let's see if we can pick someone up for that. Hmm. High Empire. Right. We own a harbor. So that helps. How much is this trade? 340? 390? Oh. Trade with Lubu is very high. I'm kind of tempted because he just formed this turn. So I wonder if he has items. Guess not. Um, but if we can, let's say, offer him something to make him like us, like a trade route, similar to what we did with Liu Chong, when they're wiped, maybe, you know, we get the characters or have a higher chance to get the characters. What can we offer at this point? Not much, to be honest. Hmm, it's a big investment. We need this trade route to work for about like at least two turns to get our money back. Liu Bei go easy. Wow, it's actually 800. 800 is actually the amount. Okay. Sure, we'll do this. I mean, if he gets killed within 10 turns, our food comes back. Okay, and that's pretty much all we can do right now. We're not strong enough to start demanding tributes. We could get paid from Sma Long, who took over Wu Jing's factory. 4.5, that's actually pretty good. He's over here. I'm not going to go there anytime soon, so... If I can get some value here... Uh, very little value. Really now. 430, or... Okay, so we're taking the cash payment now. 550 maybe? 600 maybe? Okay, this is a better deal, obviously. We're poor. Every cent matter here. Oh, little big. 0.3. It's a little low. Can't really extract any value from that. Okay. All right. That's the best we can do. We could play around with tax rate, but we already buffed it all the way up. No one's super mad at us yet. Uh, it's getting close. We also changed the retinue payment structure because we got rid of a unit. Uh, I guess we'll keep it at this level for now. We need to change stance. We gotta pay attention to this. Um, we gotta get rid of some loot so that we can move. There we go. Let's continue. Alright, Liu Bei want us to pay them for non-aggression. That is not something I like to do. I thought you had 0.3 for us. 
All right, we're both getting busy. Whoa. Okay. And Smalong dies. Yuan An Yang, Yuan Shu's daughter. Yuan Shu's daughter married into Smalong's family, and then she gets wiped. So is she available and single? Oh, Tankai leaves, or got gets a autonomy. Not he didn't he didn't leave it. Oh, she's available. I'm not saying she's great, but since she was heir at least, she didn't fully become faction leader. Like faction died right away. No items. That's what I was looking for. She would be Yuan Shu's daughter. It would be ironic if we grab her, because uh, Yuan Shu took out our dear husband over here. But right, he's tempting, but he's probably a spy. We do have an underling, I just realized. We have a new underling position, so we could technically keep Ping Yuan if we want. How is our movement so bad? We have 10% boost and we can't we can't reach this. How bad is this terrain? Alright, at least Korn won't, won't be able to attack it either. So that's a win for us. Alright, our last precious turn of... Your economy grows 20%, discount 2,300, 2,500. This is worth more for us. I could rush one of these, but the rush cost might not make it worth it. Actually, no, it will be worth it because it'll be like 500. Yeah, I can still build this. And that's pretty much the best we can do. This will give us more food, so obviously a great deal. We don't have enough characters. That's okay. Ooh, that might be a good one for him. Let's see if the cost ratio works out for us. Where is it? Right, 10% commerce for 100. That means we need a lot of commerce, right? 10% will only be 10, 11 points right now. So not going to be worth it for the bandits. All right. Anyhow, um, we'll be fighting this next turn. Nothing else we can really do. Let's continue. Young Feng Payment Coalition Pass. Ah, Yuan Tai here summoned the army to die. Liu Bei Sun Ce Yang Coalition. Well, do we get the reinforcement from Coral? Yes, we do. I guess we can let the AI fight this one out for us. We don't have to take any casualties and uh, we can get this win. I don't want to take any casualties since we won't be taking it afterward. So well, I guess we could keep it. We'll see. Let's just fight this first. Alrighty, nice easy rainy day. Now if we were fighting this alone, we would just sneak in our hidden axes uh, for the win. In this case, we're going to make things a little difficult for our ally. Um, they are definitely our ally right now, but keyword right now, you know, they occupy the Qing province, which we would like to have one day. So um, they're going to be doing the fighting and we're going to make things a little bit tougher for them. Have fun. Alright, we go all the way to the corner. Uh, we could take some of the kills for experience, but, you know, why do that? So this cavalry unit, let's see if I place them right. 20 units, let's see if they stay 20. Can go a little faster. Oh, they turned. Ah. Oh. We should have placed it here. It's the thought that counts. So unfortunately she doesn't have um, stock right now. If she has stock, she could just sneak up, do some damage. But right now we're just gonna chill. There are sneaky units. There are Imperial crossbowmen. <laughs> I mean, technically this is, you know, Dotron's hobby club, you know, not, not official troops of the Han but definitely looks that way with how decked out they are. Oh, 
Oh, are they gonna bump into our thing? No, they fled that way. Ah, uh, no one bumped into it. Oh, 13% damage. It means someone bumped into it. Maybe one of the generals. They, they, see, this one did 31, 62. Yeah, so they did damage. It worked. I guess your craft skill is not useless after all. <laughs> this guy came over to us. Go back to your friends. He's gonna rout. Army loss. Yeah, too bad we didn't put a unit close by. We should have probably put one here so we can observe the battle, but it's gonna be pretty one-sided. We took a chunk of damage. We're gonna thank Coron later by helping him kill off some Yuan Shao's army. His morale is going to tank as soon as that unit routes. The army yeah, outnumber is going to start ticking up. And he's not even going to join the fight. Oh, because this one hasn't fully routed yet. Wow, she's dying. Okay, they won. We won. We won. They're both losers over there. Alrighty. So Coron lost 400 men. We gain infamy. And we gain the option of taking this. So we can loot and occupy, get 1883. We can sack and withdraw, get 3000. 12 infamy here. Lots of loot. Sounds like a plan. So Coron's gonna sweep in and take it. Now obviously we could have taken it and traded to him. But that's not a bad idea taking money here. We're gonna get rid of some of the loot. And we're gonna move this way obviously to attack Ye. He can take this now. He's gonna fight it again. And he gets to wipe out Yuantan. We won't be wiping them out. Win a battle where 35 units participated, not counting generals. Well, we had 3 units. I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, we are rich, which means we can maybe rush some stuff just to get our economy going. Right, we kind of we could rush, build this up as well. We now have zero food because we've traded a few of them away. But if we have four net food here, we can upgrade. We need to upgrade this as well. Yeah, let's put that money to good use. We can maybe wait for the mine reform, now that we, there's really no rush. Get discount upkeep for sword and shield infantry, which we don't have any. Industry income goes up by 50. Food first, so we can upgrade the commandery. 2000 rush, that's too expensive. Alright, so. Let's continue. I think we're good here. Can't do anything else. We need to fight Yuan Shao's army. Lu Bu's still alive. Where is Liu Bei's army? Or what are they trying to do here? Do something, Liu Bei. Let's continue. Moron wants a non-aggression pack. Let's negotiate. Yeah, 0.8. That's, you know, not free here. Hmm. We're out of items. He's not going to pay us anything. Let's wait. I think we can, you know, increase our bond. War with enemy, you know, it's gonna go up. War atrocity against our enemy, that's also gonna go up. So let's wait. All right, Coral swept in and got this. Zhang got liberated, so they could be easy target for us right now. We can take this food. We need food. Oh, Zheng Cheng. We have a son. See, Yuan Tan's available. Even though we whooped him, he still joined us because we didn't destroy him. So his bonus, 15% income from family estate. If he's just prime minister, heir, or faction leader, this is very rare. Usually this skill is only on leader. 
So this will help us if we just add him and make him one of our positions once we get Imperial Court, or if we have the uh, the uh, the Prime Minister slot for us when we hit a certain rank. 15% of 2,000. Family says always 2,000. So we're talking about 300 boost to income. Not terrible. Morale when defending, also not terrible. 30 points. He's incompetent, which is not great. And we would have to find him a wife, which I'm okay. He can do assignments for us. We need assignment characters. So I think we grab him. We have the money to do the marriage as well. He has items because he was faction leader. That's a win. And we're definitely hoping for another Sentinel if we can, but you never know here. Good luck. Oh, strategist. Who doesn't like us? Why? What's your problem? Greedy. Relentless. Suspicious. Ah. Uh, bad. Very bad. Embezzler. It's not good either. Extremely bad. I mean, if we put her in enemy territory, the minus income hurt them. But AI doesn't really need money. I feel like she needs to be divorced and tried again. We can loot them. We won't have enough movement to do that, but let's see if he has an army. I want to fight them. That's what we need. We need to boost our fame and fortune. Um, yeah, this is rough. I don't like the wife. So let's see, the bonuses for this is increased income from looting settlements, post-battle loot. That's actually quite good. Uh, we can definitely slot him in there. Salary increase is huge. Wait, why? Is he... Oh, all these positions are 300? Huh. I don't remember them being that expensive. Alright, we'll put him here. I won't be rushing anything because we're poor again. Marriages are expensive. Alright. He's going to work for us. Or she's going to work for us until she wants to leave. Yuan Tan, 50% income from peasantry. We don't have any uh, peasantry exactly, but we, there's some base peasantry on the building. Oh, not yet. When we upgrade. Oh, bandits don't have that base peasantry. Right. It's very similar to... Naman buildings. Hmm. And we're also not encouraged to go tall because of corruption and public order. Well, well, well. There is no peasantry here. But I kind of want him to level up. So I might just slap him in here anyways. Actually, I don't want him to level up. Yeah, I don't want him to level up. Oh, this is very bad because we need to... Oh. Steal this. What else do you have? Ah, stone pig. Uh, you can keep that one. Yeah. What do we do about her? What's the cheapest way to get rid of her? I mean, she's worth 75% commerce income right now, which is something. Not enough to make up for her salary. Oh, I just realized why. Bandit salaries are still super expensive. The default salary on bandits still 225. Even though all the Han characters got changed to 150. So this wasn't patched. I see. That makes playing bandits a little bit harder in the beginning.
Okay, let's get our infamy to 50 first. We gotta get some fighting out there. I don't know, she's gonna debuff our experience gain? I guess what we have to do is drop this. Right, I don't want her to drop too high. Maybe 5 points. Yeah, above 25 is what we need. Alright, there we go. Let's continue. Oh, Li Bu and Zhang Yang, they're good friends. Uh, they both worked under Ding Yuan before, so they know each other. Friendship forming. Oh, that is unexpected, given that they're not harmonized. But I guess since they're winning battles together, they're building a relationship. Or he's just cheating on us. Yeah, we kind of already decided we're going over here. Let's grab that. I need to be get, getting rid of loot. This is too high. Okay, there's no, no armies there, but they can definitely hit us, as you can see. Are we worried about getting hit by this army? I mean, it's scary. It's huge. Alright, we're gonna just hide. I think he's gonna go towards him, and we can find an opportunity to assist there or take the battered, you know, take down the weakened army. My goal is still to rape towns. That's probably what's gonna make us the most money here. Diao Chan. Ah, Liu Bei took this. Okay, good. He has Wei Yan already. Ah, oh, it would be nice if she joins us. This might be a tall ask. Liu Bei, go finish them. And did we lose our trade route because he took the land route? Oh my god. Liu Bei, take this first. Why make things so difficult for us? Okay, 2.3 though. Can't complain about that. Let's get this going first. We could use money. He's not super rich, so I'm not going to offer him anything crazy like more food. Yeah, that's that's the max. We'll take that. And 1.9 is not huge, but every little bit counts. Okay. Thousand, and then we can rush something. Yeah, let's get it going. Let's keep building for food. We can upgrade this later. I know we have four right now, but we trade a few of them away, so it's not like we actually have them. When Lupo dies, we'll get one back, and then when this upgrade, we'll get one more, and then we can upgrade this, and then build it in, and that will help our income by a lot. Alright, let's continue. It's also want us to pay for a non-aggression. No thanks. Alright, so that army moved to our coron like we thought. The problem right now is because of our high loot, we can't move very far into them, and I can't get rid of loot right now because... Actually, I can. There's a really easy way to get rid of loot. I can pop out of the army and then pop back in. Loot down. There we go. I mean, we still have the limited movement from the turn before, but next turn we'll lose a lot of loot. Alright, we still want to be in ambush, so we want to go a little bit. And just ambush. We'll let them go fight Koro. He can't reach, I don't think. I think maybe he can. Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll be fighting this. Alright, we still have a bit of money. If we rush this, we can't build anything, so there's no point. Where are you going? Oh. Oh. 
This is the first time the AI is not tunneling at me. That's so strange. Right? They're actually tunneling really hard at Coral. Anyways, oh, uh, I'll take it. It's not a good, it's not a bad thing. Ooh, Rebo's daughter. Left Hulse Hulse faction. Did she get married over? Or she got ditched when we ran? Because we got wiped once. Well, she's single and ready to mingle. All right, we have to use our money on her. Yuan Yao, who is up? I mean, he has the same name as Yuan Shu's son, but different character, obviously. Grudge against Koro, obviously with Poison Volley. That's someone we want to grab. Okay, so I will find a husband for her, promise, when we have money. And we'll grab him right now. He also comes with an item. Uh, right now we need food or else this is straight up better. Because we there's industry in Dong. He's at 10 because he's high level. Steal this from him. Sixteen. Okay, I need to give him a core position. That's what I need to do. Five percent food production. I don't want loot. So we'll take the recruitment cost discount. Okay. I could marry the two of them. It would be cheaper. Um, but I would like to spawn new characters. So I'm going to not do that. Meanwhile, the two of them can help, help us out here. Hmm, it's not good. What's what's their retinue like? I guess we'll keep that, because we can't recruit one of our own. Free cavalry as well? Not a bad grab here. I mean, both of them have grudges, so both of them are fine. Okay, and Fugitive Officer is good for recruiting units. Cheap, same as her. We can stack them for a really cheap army recruitment. Uh, but anyways, let's wait and fight this one. Let's continue. Duchy of Zhong. Yuan Shu is flying in this one. No. Wow. Liu Bei Kongrong. Sun Ce Gong Sun Zan. Are you serious? That's a very scary coalition or alliance. Wait. Maybe Gong Sun didn't join. Let's take a look at this and take a look at this. Rebu Zhangyang together. Coalition. Restore the Heaven's Mandate. Yeah, right. Alliance of the Locust Tree. Sun Ce Kongrong Liu Bei. So this, this piece right here. Pretty strong. Alliance of the Hush Wind. Yang Feng Gong Sun Zan, his vassal Hua Chen Zhang Yan. So the Northern Co Alliance, okay. Sure. Doesn't doesn't bother us. I don't know where the army went. It's kind of scary, but we're fighting this. We have to siege for a turn, right? No siege weapons. This might leave us exposed. I'm just gonna pray that that army went farther this way, or at least go north or something, and not like right here. We don't have enough for the range marriage, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Um, I guess we don't rush it because we want to save money to follow our rule as soon as possible. And there's nothing to do. I don't think there's turncoats available to us. Nope. And there's no new characters that we want to grab. There's only one available, and she's a Han officer. We're good. We're just going to wait on the result of this fight. They might come out and fight us, which will be great, actually. 
Legitna aggression pass. All right, Cao Cao commands their vassal join the war against Zhang Ji. Oh, shave off their reinforcement and gain loot. I don't want loot. So basically, local villagers would join. I mean, sure, we're not keeping. Yeah, so let's do it. Stone horse. These are mostly Han officers, if I'm correct. So, I don't think- Oh, Farmer has a good assignment we can use though, but we will have to find him a wife. Yeah, that rule, that rule is gonna bite us. I mean, makes things a little bit more challenging. He's marching out against them. Extremely weak. From that fight never recovered or maybe he just fought maybe he beat that army that might be it he might have just beat that army regardless we have our own fight all right let's go all right so this one requires a sneaky approach so first he's our sneaky unit we're gonna just have him climb onto some walls and uh steal a couple gates for us and then we'll march inside now the city of Yia is very balanced design. There's too many towers. It's very annoying, but let's do it here. We'll have them here. They're hidden. We'll have these two over here. This will be our distraction. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we'll distract them here and here and she will be dismounted inside and distracting from over here she will assault the city too so let's go are they deployed they are simply cheating over here with this unit like why how and no one's here defending against the siege. Okay, we're gonna climb onto the wall then if this is the free attack. Where are their spear units? No unit on the wall for these two? Like the disrespect here is next level. I don't know if I can make a move until Zhengjiang gets in and then draws this guy back. Because once we climb, even though we're invisible, once we bump into stuff like this, we become visible. And then they shoot. That's not going to be fun. Alright, charge. Okay, I see one spear unit. Cavalry's right there. Okay, see they're all over here. Even though we're invisible. It's ridiculous. The good news is the archers won't shoot at us. And the cavalry won't get on walls, so we can technically walk around, capture all these points. It's a slow siege. We don't we don't have much. Bear with us. We're in the startup stage of our bandit adventure here. Get right here. Fatigue immune, so we can jog. Except for we still pant. Yeah, like, they're, they're ready. <laughs> they're just ready for us over here. Good thing we have multiple attack points. Alright, capturing the first one. Wait, are we not in capture range? What about here? Oh, we get shot here. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That was weird. Not pulling back yet. Go out. 
Capture, capture, capture. Get back on. They're gonna shoot us. It's okay. The walls will protect us. Hmm. I'm gonna get shot for a little bit. Yeah, the wall is very nice. This one's broken. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this one too. I need to free these two guys up. And they need to come inside and tear it up. So this is probably our attack plan over here. But first we need to capture these, or some gate for them to get in. They can probably relocate to the north. In the meantime, we come kill some archers. I mean, there's a term in Chinese called 能者多劳. Those who are capable need to do more. And uh, since you're fatigue immune, you're gonna have to run around the whole city for us. That splash range was so low. It's okay, we're gonna pick up this. We fight longer. Okay, okay. Chop, 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 chop. Alright, we got units coming our way. Uh, I don't know if I want to lead them back to what we captured already. Hmm, we need to dislodge that guy. That's the problem. We're gonna fight them on the walls for a couple reasons. Harder to get surrounded and also their towers won't be in our range ever. Run, run. Please? You're supposed to be fatigue immune. There we go. Alright. Defend. Fight! There we go. You guys fell for the trap. Uh, can we can we can we fight them, please? Here we go. Uh, this is why we didn't give her a retinue, so she can't. Oh, do not capture that, please. You're gonna capture it. Uh, run out a little bit. Don't want to get shot at. It's being boosted. Hmm, this is gonna hurt. Hard to kill this guy. Sustained. 
Help's on the way, girl. Oh, they pulled their units, finally. Let's go. Yeah, that ability almost does nothing against units. Okay, they're finally gonna route. We're here. Uh, don't chase. You deserve a break. We're also inside. We're still invisible when we're on the wall. Once we meet the civilians inside, that's when we become visible. No rush. I'm gonna first try to take this tower. Hey, get off. You die. Good luck with those shields. Poisoned. Pull back real quick. We have to get on the wall, we'll get on the wall. Approach them from two angles. Turned at the wrong girl. Let's make sure they're not braced at us. We're inside. Let's go here. They move their cavalry unit. Actually, no. There's a tower there. Do they see us? No, we're still invisible. Are they coming for us? I don't know if they are or they're not. Oh, I want to cancel this. I don't want to select him. Move a little bit this way. They found us. Oh, the, these guys. It's okay. We murdered them. He's not moving yet. <laughs> Trying to escape through us? Good luck. Kill the flag bearer. Oh my god, he's gonna live. 
Guy's gonna move. He's not charging us. I could activate this and we can go capture those two towers. That's oh, 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 oh. Are we are we invisible? No, we're not. Okay, we take the charge. Oh they didn't charge us, we charged them. We're not out of combat, there's still like a spearman inside. They never got the charge off. Alright, we can do this. Axe against shielded units. Alright, I guess it'll be us two. One, two, three, go! Yeah, there's some shots from the back that we can't block, but getting together captures faster. Stay still, stay still. Alright, wipe them out. We took a little bit of loss, but not a lot. Better than them charging us. Alright, doors open. Now it's easy. We're getting shot at. But it's okay. Let's win. They're gonna bounce back, that's a problem. Clean, clean, clean. They're gonna try to come back. Zheng Jiang's not gonna let them. Alright, they're completely routed. That's what I need to make sure of. Come back and help. Gonna hold them here. You guys can just defend here. Nobody get past me. There we go. Alrighty, let's see how much we made from this fight. 220 from just killing people. Fame and fortune, that's what we came here for. And how much for raising the city. Okay, so we can actually gain infamy, fame and fortune, tons of income. Tons of income if we give this to Coral. And we get replenishment for our army. That feels like a win win win. 30 infamy is what we're giving up. Because if we do this, we can fight them again next turn. And then still do this. I feel like that's that's the way to go here. <laughs> Alright, so we have a huge burst of this, but we still be within range, that's fine. I might want to just get rid of some of that. There's extra replenishment bonus for that, but I'd rather stay nimble on the field, so we're going to get rid of some of that. That was a good fight. Alright, now we're rich. 
Now we're rich. Oh, they are our neighbors. It's even better. We can go home. I can go home after this. I can kill this again, gift it to Coral, and then recall the army, reset home, and fight them. How do they have so much movement? Oh, wow. Okay. This requires some attention here. Yuan Tan has an excellent retinue, but he has Poison Volley. So he's going to be our first choice here. Let me think. Let me think. They have no siege weapons. It takes them at least a turn of sieging. But how can they move so far? He has reach? I mean, I can't see. Hmm. We're both under threat. This is easier because I can protect this better. This will be a one turn siege. Is the retinue ready? Yes. No cavalry though. I'm going to raise the army here. He's gonna get disbanded. He's also gonna get disbanded. Cavalries are rare, but it's gonna count against our limit in the future, anyways. But I think we'll keep it for now, just because cavalry is very premium for us. We are paying too well, paying so much for them. Maybe a little too much for him. I, I know we can get some better cavalry than those. Like I know we get usually like raider cavalry, which is not as good as the militia ones. But we can get Lancer, which is the upgraded version. And ultimately what we're gonna end up getting is all the nomadic tribal ones. Yeah. It's too expensive. Jama Jian will keep one. If anything, the trap's good. Alright, they'll defend here. And if needed, we'll move them over here to protect them. I need to stay inside. I can't get rid of loot artificially. That's okay. And then we'll have another siege fight. Yeah, not the greatest situation, but I think we'll survive. Luo Jun is in the city right now. He could use better red news, but we don't have the money for that. Rush this down. I won't be upgrading. The cool thing about bandits is none of the building require reforms. So I can go all the way up to the top tier here if I want. And since we made so much money and projected to make so much more. We can get going here with the buildings. And now that we have a sizable amount of peasantry income, he can come do this. Well, 150 is sizable. Alright, I think that's everything we can do. Let's continue. Now I'm question pack with Sun Ce. I don't mind it. I would like him throw something extra for us. Maybe I don't eat this. Oh, he's he's poor. Right. Um 3 points, 175, 200. Oh, he's not that poor. This is a good deal. Okay, 207. I, I doubt he'll pay us this much, right? So, 207 it is. Okay. His army didn't move. Maybe they're healing. Well, we're gonna do this real quick. Oh, by real quick, I mean wait one more turn for the siege. 
Hmm. That's still okay. It's worth it. Two turns to make about, you know, 10k. Fame and fortune and everything. 3k income, 1k to build, 3k to... No, that doesn't make sense for us to rush that. But we have over a million population because of the population growth we've been getting. Which means I can start pumping this up and they will finish roughly the same time. I would just like rush this at the end and we'll have enough food. We can build our inn. Yeah, that sounds like a win for us. We can do reform. 5% replenishment, here we come. And then what? We'll worry about the then what later. Alright, let's continue. Oh, reinforcements here. Very small reinforcement. Are you chung? Okay. Uh, two semi unique generals. Both very useless in my opinion, uh, historically speaking and in game. Let's crush them. Alright, rainy day with the city of Ye in the distance. Um, they're gonna be reinforcing here. The army's not that healthy. We can play around with them a little bit. I don't know if we can trick them into stepping into these, but that would be nice. I'm just gonna stack them three deep outside the forest and try to lure some cavalry into stepping into them. Not sure if we can pull that off. Uh, we do have range superiority here, so I could just dump these units here, have them shoot. Um, not scared to fight them this time. We are recalling pretty much after the next battle anyways, so this is fine. She's a little hurt. Don't want her to die here. Actual proper fight. Now, I don't know if they're willing to duel us. I know the health difference is huge, but somehow I trust that she can win these. We'll see. We'll see if they show up. They're going to come towards us after they join up once they clear this hill. There they go. Hmm, still not willing to duel, even at, you know, this much health difference. Hello, Cavalry. Melee. I might have to dictate who they fire at. Don't really want to fire these. Come on, charge, charge, charge. Waiting for the infantry to group up. Uh, Neutron's bored. Neutron's gonna go first. Cooldown's gonna be back anyways. Uh, didn't kill that many, but it's fine. Basically, whoever's lined up in that straight line. See, he overran where I selected him. Kind of interesting. I don't care about the Lancer. I care just about these.
Yeah, just whoever was lined up there gets killed. Ah, uh, there's their infantry. It's taking forever. I could almost move her here, too. Quite a bit of range. Gonna kill a lot more of these guys. Feels like they're all over here. Maybe because I'm positioning myself over there. Here, go in the forest. Almost? Almost? Die. Uh, gotta charge. No. Might as well use it. Way back. Here they come. into the traps so that they have to flank us into the traps it's our new strategy Really? Cavalry versus cavalry? Hmm, they still found a flank. Oh, ow, 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 ow. We're fine. They're very sturdy. Pull them out. Uh, let's put away the bows and charge as though we are cavalry. Hmm, they're very good at finding flanks, I have to say. Mm. 
get them. He's not unbreakable. He is unbreakable. Gotta kill him. Wait, how is he unbreakable? I thought I... Oh, I, I made him waver earlier? Well, he's dead. They're all gonna route. We won this. Ah, uh, he bounced back. Actually, no, just wait here. Ah, oh, didn't get to finish the last one. Ah, oh, he routed. Oh, good. Took losses, but that's okay. Alrighty. So let's see, what do we get from this? Well, Pyrrhic means we probably won't capture any of the generals, and that's okay. Um, don't like any of them anyways. Can't find marriages for everyone. Damn it, Fortune. We did get Guotu. Um... Action-wide movement, but bad at avoiding ambushes. He's not that useful. We execute. Coron is willing to pay us for a non-aggression. That sounds like a very fat payment. Can we get something else from you then? Like a livestock farm would be great. 22 points. 22 points. Hmm. So I think the amount was about 1,800. So I'm guessing this is going to be way better. Oh, way better. All right, so uh, we're going to end our episode here. We have Genshaw in our sights, actually. I don't know if we want to fight that. I feel like what we do is take this, give it to Koron, and then just recall the whole army, send them back and don't. There's going to be a big fight here. Um, going to happen next turn. We have a few choices of what we can do here. I can use the general. He is not unbreakable, I do not think. So there's going to be a little bit of issue there. Um, where we might have an issue. Oh, he's also low morale. Hmm. Or he might just route. But we do have a sizable force. No cavalry though. We would just like run out of the settlement and just run to the backside and just stall to not die. And then we can just keep them here until Zhong Jiang comes back and then we beat them. Or we can play fair. Let them take it. We just run away. Wait for Zhong Jiang to come back and fight a proper fight. Maybe that's what you guys probably want to see. Uh, no looping, even though I'm pretty sure I can just hold them here forever. Uh, but the idea is we finish this fight, reset back here. We're just raiding here. We're not here to gain any, you know, physical land. Keeping this up, keeping infamy, uh, infamy up, we are finally at tier two, um, which means we got rid of the satisfaction issue and uh, we have diplomatic issues with everyone at a greater level. Uh, but we get more morale, get more tributes, more prestige, and this will only continue. Uh, decay starts on the next tier, so we'll still be building it up until then. And basically, minus two de uh, decay means just have to fight something every turn. And uh, minus eight means we have to probably raise something every turn. But we get unbreakable on all troops and finally scare on all troops. Super strong. Um, but once we get there, we're pretty much ready winning. <laughs> it's going to be unstoppable at that point. But that's where we stand. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this and see you guys next time. Bye.